Hello and welcome to JAX 2016. We are here with one of the speakers, Mr. Vin. Thank you for coming here. Um, you had a practical workshop. Um, why did you choose to make such a, an interactive um, session? Okay, I delivered a similar um, session once for Java user group in, uh, in Poland, in Poznań, with different title. And I just used slides and the attendees told me it was really terrible. So they expected something else. So, okay, you are actually right. Uh, to see how it works, I should show more, more code. And what I try to do is to code a little bit of concepts, uh, show the concepts, and I just created the slides not to forget the topics. So this, and, and it went well. I'm not fully satisfied, but uh, the next time it's going to be better. Probably at WJX. <laughs> Correct. And um, you also mentioned something about Java, JavaScript fatigue. What's your take, uh, your take on that? Uh, oh, very good question. Thank you. Um, yes, uh, my take is uh, they are exaggerating a bit to set up a JavaScript uh, project is a huge, um, uh, huge project in itself. And this reminds me on early days of J2E, we did the same. And now uh, what's funny is Java e became so simple to set up and web technology is so complex. So this is just funny itself because um, at the beginning of J2E, everyone thought uh, the web development is something for script kiddies. You know, just if someone uh, doesn't get Java, then he programs JavaScript. And nowadays this is the other way around. Java e is that simple and JavaScript extremely complex. So this is why I mentioned it during the talk. And uh, there is no fatigue, uh, tool fatigue in Java e because uh, there's almost no tools needed. And I think I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I ask, uh, what technologies are you interested in at the moment? Huh. Um, yeah, um, I have actually two two sides. Um, one is my commercial side, where I just try to be as simple as possible. So what I usually use is um, Java SE and Java EE. So I try with the first one with Java plain Java, if it doesn't work, then I choose Java E. Why this? Because it's well-documented and well-established technology. So this is what I do in my projects and I just would like to sleep well, you know. No surprises, just something which works and perfect. And in my leisure time, I do whatever is cool. So I um, use lots of JavaScript, this is what I do right now. And uh, web technologies, um, I try a little bit Go and Swift, so this is what I do, but not in my commercial project yet. This is what I, um, because Java is so effective, I have more leisure, <laughs> so I um, can do more crazy things is what I do in my leisure, yes. I see. And uh, one last question, uh, since you are an advocate of uh, open source, it's normal that I have to ask you. Um, some people say that open 2016 is the is a golden year of open source projects. Do you agree with that or? Oh, really? I, I thought the uh, contradict the statement like uh, open source is dead because the open source <laughs> uh, companies went bankrupt. Um, it is hard to say because at the end of the day, the, the companies are interested uh, about business. So they, they, they would like to, 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 uh, to earn some money. So all about money. There are still, you know, small projects which are open source driven by individual, but uh, big companies uh, have always some political things uh, behind. And what they are interested usually, some commoditization of stuff they are not interested in and try to sell day proprietary stuff. And therefore it could be a golden era of open source we see it a long trend in Java and Java E, it is the case. So whatever you use is open source. Um, golden it, in, in Java, I think it was already golden all the time, you know, but if you, if you in the whole IT industry, you're probably right because we got Swift from, from Apple is completely open sourced and Go is open source. So um, in total is even, even, yeah, so you're absolutely right. In total in Java, there is, I would say there was no no change to previous years or so I have to say at GitHub, Java is one of the most popular languages uh, for two years already, which is also amazing. So it depends on who you're asking, right? <laughs> no, there are statistics actually. You can go to, to, uh, to GitHub, there, I forgot the page, and you can just ask for statistics like um, Java and JavaScript. Thank you very much for the interview and thank for being here. Oh, thank you for, for the nice questions. Yeah.